So what I've got today is this uh, outside light. These are absolute garbage, they really are. This one was from Screwfix. I've had it about three years, something like that. It worked well for a bit, but it the PIR on it has failed. And now I'm saying the PIR, I think it's the PIR. The light seemed to be working fine, but then this was getting really erratic. It would come on on its own, it would come off. It wasn't working very well. Sometimes it would light up when it shouldn't, stay on all day, wouldn't switch off. So um, I've bought a new light. I bought this one in from the garden. What I want to do is completely bypass the PIR part of the light and just run it as an outside light that I can switch on and off from a mains feed. So let's strip it down and see if we can make something of a bad item. So let's whip these bolts out to start with. We'll get rid of the bracket. Get that out of the way. Right then, let's have a look. So we've got to take the back off it. Now I took this off and took the the mains feeder out of it to use on the new light. So we've got four cross-headed screws out the top there. So the original feed came in through the, the bottom of the sensor there, was joined into these here, we've got a, a black and the red. The feeds that came out from the PIR, this one here and this one here. So if I put a 240 volt feed into this with a bit of luck the light will come on that's what I'm hoping so basically what it's saying on here the driver feed there it's got live on that one neutral on that one let's see what happens I've got a plug I've got a bit of wire, let's wire it all together and see what we can do. So just for, for trying it, this is two core cable. I'm not going to earth it because I'm only going to just try it to see if we can get it working and make sure that the driver itself hasn't failed. And we'll just strip these back to give us something to attach it to. So these drivers are really clearly marked, it says on the, on the sticker um, live and a neutral and because we've bypassed the PIR system now it's all straightforward we should just be able to connect up to this and if it's going to work happy days so live is that one so we'll go brown to that as that says live feed neutral on the black Make sure they're not nowhere near each other. And then we'll plug that in the socket and see what happens. Oh, beautiful. We have light. So, the actual lamp itself, as I thought, is okay. The PIR was at fault. So what I can do now is actually wire in a decent piece of wire to this. And uh, we'll have a nice outside light. We can. Uh, add up down the garden, get it in the circuit for the garden lights and uh, it'll look beautiful. Excellent stuff. Right, out of there. <laughs> I always wear my little rubber globbies on these. This driver now could be holding a, a few volts and it's in its capacitor inside there and sometimes you do get a bit of a whack off anything like this. I always wear these, it just stops me getting a shock. I've learnt my lesson on that one. Okay. Now I'll touch those two together, and if there's out in there, it's gone now anyway. So that's annulled that one. 
Right, so we're going to use this base and we'll detach the... Uh, in fact, I'll leave that on because it's watertight. So I'm going to leave all that attached to there. But all I'm going to do is chop all these wires off of... I'm going to chop all these wires off of here because I don't want to use any of that. So bang, get rid of all of that. And all we've got now is the base. And let's feed a new wire into it. Right, so let's whiz that driver out a sec. Get that out of the way. We'll crack off this earth bolt there as well. We've got some new wire. So, so we've got this new wire here that we're going to use. Let's strip that out. Bend that just nip to it, so we'll get the sheet off it. Beautiful. Let's get that up through the base of the. And that's really tight within the silicon seal, so that's nice. Going to be nice and watertight. Let's get it up through there. That's lovely. That is. That's nice and tight. Okay, okay. Let's sort this out. So when that's in there, that, that, we need a bit more. The earth's going to be over here. There's plenty of wire there. There's plenty of wire. That's good. So let's pop a, uh, okay, let's pop a ring on this. A little crimp there. We'll pop that through there. So we we'll crimp that up. That's nice, and then we can get that screwed into the earth. So that, and we'll get this back, get this driver back in place again. Go. Lovely, lovely. All right, so let's uh, strip these back. Got a soldering iron there. Let's go. Okay, so again, we've got that plugged in and warmed up. Live is that one? Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> nearly forgot. A little bit of heat shrink. Bits of that. Slip them over the wires. Okay, so live is that one. Look at those twisted up. Neutral is that one. Just solder these the back of the connectors up. Back of 
to sold it on. They're my wobbly hands, terribly shaky hands, I know. Lovely. That's that sorted. I'll let that out of there. Let's cool down. Okay, and then we'll just fold that back. Right. Heat shrink, slide that down over the joint. That's one done. Same again, fold that back that way and then get that heat shrink down over the joint there. So we've got this crimped earth connection which is below the LED driver screwed into the base onto the earth wire. We've then got on the back of the driver you can clearly see L neutral, like so live and neutral. Really nice and neat in there now. So, let's slide so that this back wire coming out is onto the yellow which is for the live which is going to the brown on the new wire. Then the neutral comes out, goes through the connector sure that's to the black wire, sitting in there which we've then left. put to blue. This is neutral. There we go. And that's what we're achieving. So the driver the unit, back in there. which then powers out of the base on that black and red wire, which goes to the LED light unit. And we've just completely bypassed the PIR, which is now you can see here, the wires, I've just cut them away. And the new wire, we've fed straight in from the live feed through into the driver. So we've got, it looks like it's got a PIR, PIR's not working, but the lamp itself is now wired in all good and true. And we'll pop the bracket back on there as well. So he's throwing it away, because the actual LED light is just the PIR. Of the years of these.